George here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can change this text right here, this kind of pop-up thing. This is called splash text. And you can have this say anything that you want. Okay, to do this, let's switch over to the desktop. We'll be making a resource pack to change that text. And for that, you want to have some place to build your pack. So I made a new folder here on my C drive. I just called it pack. And we'll make our pack right in here. Now we need to get the vanilla resource pack for this. Currently I'm playing in 120.4 and let's get the resource pack for that. Go over here to installations, latest release, and there you go, there's your version. Go over here to this little icon, it looks like a folder, click on that, and that opens up the Minecraft folder. And let's get this out of the way. There we go. And here, scroll down until you find versions, right here, and then find your version. And again, I'm in 120.4 right there. Open that up and you should see two files, a jar file and a JSON file. If you're seeing two files, but nothing at the end here, then go up to the view tab, come down to show and click on find them extensions right here. If you're in Windows 10, this is Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the top, click on the view tab at the top and same thing right hand side, put a check mark next to find them extensions and you'll see those. If you're only seeing one file here, you're only seeing just the JSON file, then launch Minecraft and go as far as the title screen. That's when the jar file is downloaded. Okay, let's take this. I'm just going to right drag it over here and choose copy. Make sure you don't move it, just copy it. And then get this out of the way. And then click into the name, click in a second time, backspace over the jar and change that to zip. And then mix it into a zip file. And then right here, Click on yes, there we go. It always was a zip file, with just a different name on that. We can now open this up, right click, come down to open in new window, and it gives you a floating window just like this, making it real easy to drag and drop. Now the first thing we need in here is the pack.png file, and it's on this first page, let's just scroll down to that. And it's right there, same thing, right drag it over here, and copy. Let's now scroll back up to the top again, go inside of assets, go inside of Minecraft, and right here, you'll find a folder that says texts. Go inside of that. And you want this one right here, splashes text. Let's just right drag it over here and copy. That's the one that we're changing. Now we also need to copy this folder structure up here, the assets, Minecraft, and texts. We need that over here. So click on new folder. First one's assets. Let's go inside of assets and make a new folder in here. This one is Minecraft. Inside of Minecraft and one more folder and this one is texts. Here we go. Inside of here is where our final file would be going when we're ready for that. So that's all set to go. We still need to have a pack.mc meta file in here. We'll take care of that in just a little bit. I'll close the zip file down. Let's go ahead and open up these splashes text. And it's opening up here inside of notepad and that's fine. One little trick on this I'll show you in just a bit. But this is everything that shows inside of that in this little splash text area. I'm going to delete all of this. I'll use the control A keyboard shortcut to select everything. Hit the delete key. And then I've copied out some text over here from an Alice in Wonderland poem, actually from Alice through the looking glass. Let's just copy this and I'll right click and we'll copy that. And then back over here, right click and paste. Now we need to save this out as an ANSI file. Right now it's a UTF file. You can see it right down here, UTF-8. Let's so go up here to file, come down to save as. And let's put it in the right location. Go to Assets, Minecraft, Texts. Put it right here. And then let's change the encoding here from UTF-8 to ANSI. Choose Save. And that's all set to go. Go ahead and just close this down. Okay, now we need to have that pack.mc meta file. Minecraft used to include that in the zip file. They no longer do. But I have that over on my website. Let me bring that up. And that's right here. I'll put this link in the description so it's easy to get to. And since I'm in 124, I want this one at the top. Just download that, click on that and download it into the same place. Choose save. That's done. Let's get that out of the way. There it is. Same thing as before. Right click, open in new window. There's the pack MC meta. Just drag that over here and then close that zip file down. We no longer need that zip, so I'll just delete that. If you want to, you can change what this says. Let me just bring this up. I normally edit these in Notepad++. It's a great little code editor. Works great for Minecraft coding. Pack format's correct. Where it says custom pack, you can change this if you want to. I'll just backspace over this. 
and I'll call it custom splash text and save. And that's now done. We're now ready to build our resource pack. Let's click on the assets, hold the control key down, grab that pack PNG and that pack MC meta. Right click, that goes into a zip file. Just give it a new name. I'll call it custom splash. This is in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the top, click on the share tab and you'll find the zip button right up there. Okay, that's all ready to go. All that's left is just to put this into the game. So let's bring back up the launcher. There we are, back to our latest release, back to that folder. And it's come down this time, we're coming down to resource packs. Open this up and we'll copy that right over here. I'll just right drag and copy. There we go. That's done, close that down, close this down. All that's left is to launch the game and then activate that pack. So do that, click on play and we'll launch the game. And there we go, it's now showing one of the new lines from our new selection of text. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.